Well, uh, back in August of last year, I came for the board of selectmen uh, and told them about this idea I had to build a, to put a memorial bank to the bridge of the organ. signed off for my paperwork, went for the Eagle Board and had that, them approve it, and then poured the pad in November, the concrete pad it's under, and uh, then but raised a lot of funds for it, and this August it was delivered. Now, th that, that's the very simple version. So, first of all, you're probably wondering why I picked the French Indian War. Well, it was the first war that anybody from this area served in. Um, the, the town didn't start until, well, wasn't incorporated until 1764, but there were people living here. And from the research I did, these five on the front there um, were the first five, or were the only five that I could find that served from this area. Um, I had to do, Raymond did have a list of the names. It was compiled by James Fullen, no Joseph Fullington, um, in the seven, 1870s. But he, he had a little um, note under it that said uh, some of these people could have served from other places, but they came to town later. So pretty, I, I pretty, I found out in about March that it, it was more complicated than that. <laughs> and. Um, so then I have to go, to the, first I went to the Dudley Tucker Library, I looked around there, and I started to find more names. So then I went to the State Library in Concord, and I came across uh, the French and New York muster rolls. And from there I, I got a list of every possible person, every person who ever settled in Raymond, who ever served in the war, it came to a list of almost 20. But, I, but of those 20, 15 of them, uh, were uh, not originally from town when the, when the war happened. So then I reduced that list down, and actually a couple of, one name that was on the original list, I found out he didn't serve, he wasn't on the rolls. Um, it was a misconception because uh, his brother served in the previous war, and they, uh, his brother served in the previous war, but uh, they got the, the, the family member in the 1870s must have gotten mixed up. So now, of course, beyond that, which took a few weeks of research, um, the uh, I ordered the bench. And so the French Indian War was fought from 1754 to 1760. Those are the days. Those are the years it was fought. The official dates of the war, though, are 1755 to 1763. That's the date that Great Britain and France declared war on each other, and the date that they signed the official peace treaty. But fighting started a year earlier and ended three years uh, earlier. So I add those dates on there because that's the, those are the traditional dates um, for this area. Um, now, of the men who served, I have just a little bit of a brief thing about each one. Um, the field warden served in Company 1 between September 19th and October 11th, 1755. He lived in Rand at the time of the incorporation in 1764. He later moved to Reedville, Maine, where he has a street named after. Uh, Ezekiel Morse served from April 10th to October 2nd, 1758. That's about all I know about him. Um, James Warrington served in Company 1 September 19th to October 28th, 1755. He is related to Joseph Fullington, who wrote the first history of Rangers. Um, then, Curtis Bean served in Company 2 from September 19th, 1755 to, September, to February 7th, 1756. He later moved to Poplar, now Fremont. And he's actually listed on a plaque out in front of the Fremont Town Hall. Um, Nathaniel Etheridge served in Company 6 from September 9th to December uh, 1st, 1755, in Albany, New York. He saw no action. He served again in 1755. Oh, he, he, okay. 
Now, this, the man who served from this area, we were part of Chester back. So, they, they all went down to the Chester Center and signed up, and that's where they drilled. And then they sent, were sent off to um, New York and places where the war was being fought. Um, well, that's about it there. Uh, of course, uh, Well, this is from, of course, this is from my Eagle Scout Service project. Um, and of course, I'm a Boy Scout. Um, for an Eagle Scout Service, for, to attain the rank of Eagle Scout, the highest in Boy Scout, award in Boy Scouts, I have to uh, complete a, a service project that benefits an organization outside of scouting. Um, any community organization or town, or town and it has to have significant benefit. And I have to be the primary leader of the project. So, this is what I chose. Um, there are other wars that range that I have recognition for. I, I'm probably not going to be the one to do it, but I hope someday down the road somebody else can uh, get the rest of them recognized. Um, well, and that's pretty much it. Uh, any questions? I think we want to congratulate you on doing the research and the work that you've done on this. You put a lot of time and effort into it. Any of those folks buried in Raymond? I'm not sure. It's something I have to check into. Well, okay. hey, you've done a lot of checking. You've, you've, done, a great, <laughs> you've done a great job, and uh, I'm sure the voters welcome. Yes, we do.